What's up, Mother Suckers? Welcome to another episode of Mother Sucker Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Blackson. I'm not never alone. I can't leave without the Shaolin Temple. <laughs> I, hello, guys. I'm Michael Blackson's shadow. Seriously, Chinese, Chinese best, best friend. friend. You're my shadow, that's right. Yeah, I'm always around. You are mostly around, man. How's everything going? Oh, everything's good, Mike. How about you? I'm good, man. California's open. We don't have to wear masks anymore. Yeah. I went out there today and I was I had a mask in my hand. I, I went to the bank to um withdraw eight dollars out the ATM. And deposit your Well, uh, they won't let me take out eight dollars. And deposit your twelve cents from next Friday? Yeah, uh, my twelve cents from next Friday and Meet the Blacks one. So I'm glad Meet the wow. Blacks two is out so I could make some money. Hopefully make some money. Mike, those twelve cents you should sign it and put it on eBay. You will Fuck make that. I more. need the money, man. I need it. <laughs> Cashing my check. Michael Michael Black said, don't underestimate your fame. Elvis's check was going for a million dollars. What? What check? That he signed before. Seriously? Yep. So you got to keep those 12 cents because it's going to go up. It's like the price of Bitcoin. It used to be 12 cents. Now it's 38,000. Yeah, it was also 60,000 not too long ago and the shit went down to the trash. Bro. No, it went back up. It's 40,000 right now. It's 38,000, nigga. I know. Well, I looked just two minutes before the show started. When and I looked one minute before the show started. It went Shit, down again. you caught me lying. Yeah, motherfucker, I caught you lying. But, but I'm glad you're here. You're not in the whale's mouth. You heard about the guy that got swallowed by a whale? Oh, yeah. I, I can't believe it. That's not true. He didn't get swallowed. He was just in the mouth of the whale. Wow. What he, the fuck? Yeah, the thing about it, I'm, what's, I'm, what's, I'm not sure his name. It's probably Jonah. Jonah? Jonah, yeah, the guy that from oh, the Oh, yeah, I saw him from... A <laughs> The Bible that got swallowed by the well. My thing is, I don't know what the fuck, how you just get swallowed by a well. Like, why Why are you hanging out with where whales would come? I don't go, I don't fuck with Oh, whales. because he, were, he every, was fishing. Every day he goes lobster catching. Oh. So he, he takes a dive, goes down, and just catches with his hands. He went to a dive and the whales yeah, that's what put him in his mouth? I guess he, the whale was thinking maybe he's a plankton or I don't know. Lucky for him, whales don't have teeth. Do whales have teeth? No, no. That he, yeah, he was in the Jimmy Kimmel show. He goes, I was in the whale's mouth, and then he goes, oh shit, the shark swallowed me. Thirty seconds. Supposedly took him down. That's a long time. No, he took him. Yeah, that's a long time. You know what I would have did if I went in the whale's mouth? I would have start tickling the shit out of him, <laughs> went in his stomach and start jumping. No, up and down. he didn't go sh- all the way in the shit stomach. in that whale's mouth. <laughs> he would have definitely kicked me out. I would have sh- fought it. <laughs> when I fought, I shut shit down. I would have fought in that whale's mouth, and he would have just threw me the fuck up. No, he went down 35 feet down. Into the whale's stomach? No, no, no. In his mouth, and the whale took him down. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then the whale barely decides, like, holy fuck, what the fuck is yeah, this guy? Yeah, the whale, like, this guy is undigestible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably had a suit on, you know. You know, it can't be that bad being swallowed by a whale. I used to date a few big bitches. <laughs> Shit. Did they swallow you, mother sucker? I feel like yeah, I've, I've yeah, I've been swallowed a few times, but <laughs> huge gamunjas titties have swallowed me twice. Oh my god! This bitch had a titty like th- forty-four. What's after H? Z. In a fucking Z. I. I, I double, triple I, nigga. Bitch had triple wow. I titties. Yeah. She could probably. I'm glad she could drown a baby if she breastfed that baby. <laughs> if I titty fucked up, I'll probably lose my dick. I'm not titty fucked. Wow. It's yeah. It's going put titty fucking a girl with a fucking 44 age is oh, like it, putting a tic tac in a whale's mouth. Oh shit! Fucking. It's like a, a a mouse in a right trap. The right trap. Nah, right trap is is, is like, the, no. It's like you trying to fuck a big bitch. Oh yeah, I wouldn't try that. Yeah, that's yeah, you that's committing suicide for me. A lot of crazy things happened this week. You know what else happened? What else? This fucking um, crazy guy on the airplane from huh? Los Angeles to Atlanta tried to open the, the door in mid 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 flight. Yes. Was that the airplane you were on? Not nah. My plane was just a crazy bitch that was throwing up gang signs. She want to beat up everybody. Oh. And the cops came and took the bitch off the plane. That was, that was my plane. This guy was trying to open the fucking door. Oh. And I think the passengers all got together and like beat his ass. And um, wow. I mean, he really got a real Airbnb, air bashing and beating. <laughs> he tried to unlock that door. After that ass whooping, Holy he didn't want to even unlock his phone after that <laughs> shit. Yeah. 
I, I can't believe that. A lot of time, I think a lot of those things are inspired by songs. Like people listen to a certain song and they try to. Oh, there's a song like that. I mean, winds beneath my <laughs> wind beneath my wings. I believe I can fly. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he probably freaking R. Kelly. Yeah, he thought he was he was R. Kelly. Mike, I think it's a it might be a side effect of a COVID nineteen uh, vaccine. What don't you think? Opening up the fucking plane. I mean, everybody going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. Uh, another crazy guy, Kanye West, unfollowed Kim Kardashian in real life. Oh. And then he unfollowed the whole family on Twitter. The whole family on Twitter. He Holy fuck. Nobody. Yeah, I guess he's not keeping up with the Kardashians anymore. <laughs> Well, good for him. Uh, what the fuck else happened? Something happened last but not least. Fuck. I forgot yeah, there's a lot of things been happening lately. Like the outfit you're wearing. Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is inspired by Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is this is one of my favorite outfits I used to wear on stage about three years ago. Three years this ago. was made in Togo. Um, Where is Togo, Mike? A lot of Togo is in, Togo is in West Africa. It's right next door to nigeria if i'm not mistaken really yeah really cool place it's french speaking country uh very small country peaceful no i went problem. to a chinese restaurant earlier and i took my food to go because they weren't letting people in inside to eat to go to go oh to go to go yeah it's uh i can't be a stand-up comedian mike never motherfucker. Yeah. Now with that goddamn make you joke, laugh you're not gonna make it with that joke. They, they probably throw tom tomatoes at you in Togo. And they're going to ask you to go to another fucking country, okay? Uh, but that's really nice, though. No, no, I think, no, this lady. You I should have, wear like, it again. Where? To your show. Why? Mike, uh, you know, you have a problem. You don't have to wear just one clothes one time and one weekend and put it in your closet and disappears. You got to keep wearing them. You're wasting a lot of money in the Versace store. Those. I probably am, man. Yeah. But you know what? My my fans spend so much money to come and see me. I have to spend that money on Mike, clothes. They don't me. give a fuck what you wear. They just want to see you. They do give a fuck what I wear. No, of course about, they, don't. they don't. They don't give a fuck about me. They, no, of course me, they don't. A lot yeah. of them come to see what the fuck I'm wearing. Chinese best friend. Really? Talking about um, best friend. Your best friend, Doctor Fauci. Oh yeah, what's going on with him? You tell me, motherfucker. You know all the corona shit. Oh yeah, shit I heard. Chinese. I heard that. Uh, they got a hold of his emails. And what happened? And that uh, Nigerian lady that uh, people thought she was crazy. She's a doctor mm -hmm. that, you know, they cured for Corona was, was uh, hydrochloroquine all, yeah, yeah, that's what all along. I mean, I never doubted it, but I can't, you know, I'm, I don't have the power to say it. But chloroquine was what we used to, um, I, mean, I don't know about hydro part. I don't know. I know about chloroquine from like. 70s Africa. and 80s, that's what we took as kids in Africa to cure malaria. Wow. You know, and malaria is almost probably, it, it's, it has some of the symptoms of COVID. You know, we, we definitely don't lose no taste because after we, you know, cure from COVID, we cure um, malaria, we eat fucking fufu and we eat everything, you know, we eat everything without, yeah, we, so we don't, you don't lose no taste and there's no vomiting, but it's, it's a lot of fever and a few things, but. It could be right with that whole hydrochloric shit. You yeah, know? so he's in trouble. People are saying that uh, fire Fauci, fire Fauci. Yeah, but you know, they, they needed this to go as long as possible without no cure. So they could make money. It's all oh, money yeah, thing. Huh. That's how I look at it. The I pharmaceuticals. Think. Yeah. Everybody Amazon got. Prime. Even though the, the COVID shots are free, there's still something else behind it. The, it's free to the public, but the country is paying it's for suffering. it somehow. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Trillions of dollars. Trillions of dollars, man. Yeah, it's yeah. this is unbelievable. Last but not least, something else happened this week. Um, a fucking guy in Detroit named Jamal. Well, if his name Jamal? is Jamal, he's black, most likely. I don't know, he's Mike. Adam. I've heard a white guy named Jamal. How you spell his name? Chinese best friend. James. James. James is spelled. Jamal. And he visited Ghana, and he changed his name to Gamal, Jamal. Coming back home. <laughs> Yeah. Well, a guy named Jamal in Detroit won the lottery. Whoa. For thirty thousand dollars. Not oh, much. Not much. That's but a lot of Detroit, money. Detroit Detroit people are so broke that thirty thousand feels like yeah. thirty million dollars. Okay. Yeah. The guy wins thirty thousand on the lottery and just like a black man, the first thing you go do is buy what? Jewelry. What? He bought twenty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. 
And then guess what happened? Somebody, what happened? he gets robbed and what? got the jewelry <laughs> snatched from him. Oh, my God. If you look at this guy by looking at him, it yeah. looked like he should have spent that money on, like, uh, <laughs> gym membership. <laughs> yeah, $29 a month. Dental insurance. He had fucked up teeth. $32 uh, a month. Some pepper spray. $8 and on Amazon. Maybe a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he would spend uh, 90% of his lottery winnings. On jury. That's yeah. that's dumb. That's dumb. Sounds like an IRS movie or yeah, something. It sounds like want a 90% dumb of your mother sucker. That's what I could call yeah, it. He, but let's get the show started. We have a... Uh, I have very important, very good friend of mine. Me and this guy will go way back. He's uh, VH1 probably hate him. MTV probably hate him. Oh, because he has uh, you know, he has his own network. Really? Called what is Zeus. it? And Zeus has everything. In fact, I had a show on Zeus called Doctor Blackson. Oh, uh, it's still on there, so you can check out Doctor Blackson on Zeus. Zeus. He has shows on there with almost every reality star that reality? made oh, a name for herself. Black China. Black China has a show on Black there. Black Girls Club. Black Girls Club is on there. Jocelyn is on there. My man, the owner of Zeus, this guy came up with a brilliant idea, and he brought it to yeah. life. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lemuel Plummer is in the building, Whoa, motherfucker. Oh, Lemuel Plummer. Lemuel Plummer. Woo-hoo. He's on the phone right now cursing out VH1. Yeah, cursing out VH1. Yeah, uh, he got, please he put it on speaker, He sir. brought his whole entourage. He, come on in, let me bring. Hey, we got the Zeus girls. Mike, yeah, bring the Zeus girls. Goodness. You got the Zeus girls. Got the, the, where am I sitting? You sit right here next to me. Okay. He I got Bill Gates, can... ex bodyguard. Damn, he got, he like <laughs> Suge Knight, eight Rick Ross. Yeah, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you... God Holy damn. Holy crap. You got Jesus. No... Yes. Right. Is, do VH1 trying to fuck you up that bad? They, they, they <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, is it because of the bad ladies, girls? Ladies, y'all can have a seat. Uh, yeah, hey, ladies, y'all can sit over on, here. Get the come ladies on. over here. Some of our Zeus girls, come on. Yeah, get one over can here. Can I get a glass of champagne? Yeah, yeah. Anything you want, Mr. Plumber? No, Mr. Zeus. <laughs> oh, Mr. Zeus, Mr. Zeus. Um, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, no, yes. Oh, is this how we sitting? Hey, you hey. got the whole crew. I, I mean, here. I didn't know we were all sitting together like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought the Guardian. We can the Guardian. Are we gonna be able to see them? Who? The Guardian. The, the yeah, they did. Yeah, they got camera right oh, okay, on okay, them. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody good. What's going on, big guys? Uh, damn, Zeus. Zeus is um is. <laughs> can we, uh, Roddy? Can we get some champagne? Is is. Okay. Hey, uh, I oh, think that uh, cam that camera over there might be a. Uh, Where's my phone? Oh, my phone. Bit, no. Thanks, man. Oh. Wow. Welcome to um, Mother Sucker Podcast. I'm the host, Michael Blackson. That's Chinese best friend. Hey, hey. Hey, Mike, I have some uh, very uh, good question for Lemuel Plummer, the Mr. Zeus, but. After seeing these two guys, I don't want to ask the questions. <laughs> yeah. Don't be scared, man. Those guys are. I mean, listen. Those guys I am are not nice. asking those questions today. Those guys are nice guys, man. Yeah, they're, they're real nice guys. Yeah, they're really nice. Too nice. Yeah. yeah don't. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was a little like. Uh, don't don't worry about. It. They're not gonna yeah. hurt you. Ah, thank you. It's too much ch ch um, <coughs> Asian hate going on. They're not gonna. Oh, Asian you're hate right, me. Mike. Yeah, you have. You can yeah. just call Asian the cops. Hate crime. Joe Biden signed that fucking paperwork for you, man. You good? Oh. So I'm okay to be walking down Hollywood Boulevard by myself? Yes, man. You safe. Yes. <laughs> okay. Plus, Dr. Fauci fucked up. It's not your fault, man. Yeah. Dr. Fauci making up stories that it came from China. They ain't come from China. Where did it come from, man? Crenshaw? Fauci's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Welcome to the show. Um, Thank Lenny. you. I feel, like, I feel like, hold on. Let's, let's me and you switch. Or do you want to sit next to her? Who? We I feel like I can't even see you. Yeah, For you real. need to see Mike. Yeah, yeah you right need here. to see. All right, sweetheart. Oh, you can sit right here next Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's even better. There you go. Sit right yeah. here, boo. <laughs> all, all this ass in my face. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Zeus, is this the yes. uh, uh, Bad Girls Club 13 episode girls <laughs> you brought today? No, these are uh, these are some of our Zeus, what we call Zeus girls. Oh. And so, you know, they, they come out with us. They have a, a good time. They party. And, uh, you know, just for branding purposes, we like to... Yeah. To show that you know we, we have a good time, absolutely. All right, we Damn. used to have Doc we, we have Blackson, to have Blackson girls. Angels. They all yeah, they all quit. We have these a, are just some of the girls we have. Like you know, we have a whole team of of girls that we go out with. It's like probably 30, 40 girls, right? Whoa, J Jalen Kadeem, how many girls do we have? Not like that, you know. This I'm talking about. Are business. you talking to your accountant? No, these are my assistants. 
Oh. Here, meet the twins. Come on, guys. Oh, come on, there's meet there's the there's twins. Tw- I, this, have, this, yeah, this, no, I have twin boys too. Holy crap, they look yeah. the same. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Who has good credit? Who has bad credit? <laughs> Whose credit is better than other? <laughs> who gets the most bitches? Yeah, yeah who gets the most? Hey, I want to know that question. Yeah, we want to know. <laughs> hey, uh, but no, so they, they, uh, they uh, help, you know, organize the, the events. And when we go out, we have a good time. But it's, it's important too because we got to go out after this. Okay. So that's why. We're going out today? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we're going out, We're going to Drake's party, man. Yeah, we're going Drake? to Drake. Drake, yeah. yeah. The, oh. the fucking, the sixth guy from Champagne Canada. Champagne puppy? Yeah, it's his best friend's oh. birthday. Oh, okay. Cool, Chubbs. man. Chub. Chub. Um, all right, let's, let's go. Me, right, now, me and Lemmy go is way back. We, yes. We got our, you know, Lemmy started our producing shows oh. for, um, uh, we had a bunch of shows on like Oxygen, Oxygen. BET, oh. a lot of the Viacom networks and, and and NBCU networks. And then we met. We uh, how we met? He produced a show that I was on called Living with Funny. Mm-hmm. That was was that 2013 or 2014? Damn, it's is it that long ago? It's been that Dang. long. Ago. Wow. Damn, that, yeah, it was on Oxygen. So that was we did uh, maybe Air 15. Maybe we shot in 14. Yeah, 14. So we shot 14. And we maybe, sold. Yeah, we sold it to Oxygen. Uh, yeah, a few years ago and went straight to series. And uh, which is very rare, right, to go straight to series. Yeah. And we had a lot of uh, great uh, cast members. It was obviously Michael and Brandon T. Jackson, D. Ray Davis. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was hilarious. And it was it was behind the scenes of their their lives. Nice. And they let us in. Michael let us in a little bit. And they're like, man, at they that time. To, you got to meet my kids and <laughs> yep. my crazy oh. girlfriend. Shout out to um, her. She's probably <laughs> listening right now. <laughs> Ex-girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Right, um, not right. Rada. No, no, no not right. Rada. It was, it was Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Future wife. Yeah. Georgia was on oh, there. Georgia was yeah, with, there. Oh, Georgia was yeah. there. It was a good show. Um, uh, it was a lot of fun. And then, you know, because wh- what I was talking about earlier, I know, before when I came, the main reason I moved to LA was around the time we met, and I moved to LA to do some kind of radio show, online radio show that mm-hmm. never happened. So when it didn't happen, I got frustrated. I was ready to go back east, and then they came up with the idea to do Live with Funny. Yep, Live with Funny is kind of what kept me in LA. Wow, and I'm glad I stayed because LA just makes you elevate your life, yeah, make mm-hmm. you want to just become greater and greater and greater. And you know, that's how we end up here today. Now, even with him, you know, oh. I mean, he went from just Producing show on network to owning a network, pretty yeah. much. Wow. Congratulations yeah, was, on that, you. man. Woo! Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank Thanks you. for letting Mike stay in Los Angeles. N- of course. I would have never met the model sucker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it was uh it's crazy. We I was uh I was executive producing shows for a while. It was it was uh I sold my first show when I was twenty one. Wow. And um yeah, that was crazy to be. Now was that the was that the preachers thing? No, that was that was a show called Vindicated and uh it was about people wrongfully convicted of crimes and showing that's right. I remember that. Morris Chestnut hosted it, and uh, oh, wow. it was it was crazy. Um, but then at BT, we we did a lot of uh, we I was I had a deal over there for like three years, almost three years, and we we had a lot of shows um, uh, that we that oh, we. Oh yeah, you did the one with Snoop and them. What, what was that called? Was uh, that it? was that was after though. That's way but after. That, but during the time when I was 21, it was vindicated. It was mm-hmm. like the Monique show right. I produced on her uh, talk show that was that we shot in Atlanta. Um, Terry Cruz's uh, reality show, The Family Cruz. Oh, you did that? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, was that, that when uh, Mike was there, uh, ballet guy? He was the ballet no, guy? No, no, that was, no, that's a sick <laughs> no, 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 high he, school producer with TBS. Uh, no, nah, Terry Chinese had... Chinese best fucking friend, dog. Are you kidding me? Kid, it's a difference in reality and a sitcom. <laughs> exactly. I had no idea, Mike. Yeah, the one I did was a sitcom for TBS. Right. For um, Terry Cruz. That I called Are We There Yet? It was, oh. Are We There Yet? The, the, um, the sitcom. Right. Produced by Ice Cube, starring Terry Crews, and I did like I did three or four epi- episodes of that show. Mm-hmm. Is this podcast reality or is it? This is reality. Yeah, this would be reality. This oh, would be considered right. a form of reality. Oh, so, nice. but yeah, so it was it was Terry Crews' show. That was a great reality show, and then it was several other pilots and stuff that we did. Sunday Best. It was a bunch of stuff. And then after BET, I kind of left, and I was like, I want to start my own full service production company, and that was like really important for me. Because it was no, and the difference with like executive producing shows and owning a production company that that sells to networks is is significantly different. It's it's you're facilitating the shows, so that means the networks are paying you uh, a, a, a certain amount to pay for everything: the cast, the the showrunners, the the production to really facilitate and deliver the show. 
So that was that was when I started uh, uh, L Plumber Media, and then we what, saw what is it? It L- was called L Plumber Media. It was it was named after my last name, oh. but then it, it, we we sold the Preachers of L.A. That was the first series I sh- I sold uh, to to uh, to what was it? Uh, of oxygen. oxygen, and so it was a crazy hit. It was it was um, it was the highest rated series at the network. Wow! And it was following a bunch of preachers, and then we franchised. We did a second season, franchised it to Atlanta, Detroit, and then after that, we ended up selling uh, Living with Funny uh, to uh, to Oxygen and Esquire at the time. So that was the first time we we sold one series to two networks and which was very unique and different because the the head of NBC was like I want to do something different for both my networks and they love Michael they love you know D-Ray and Brandon and they were like we got to do this and then unfortunately Esquire kind of started transitioning because they were I don't know what happened with that network it was some some things that went down and so we just ended up putting the show on oxygen solely but originally the deal was for for both and so we were we were going to go on the road and shoot for Esquire the guys doing the stand-up comedy, and then you would tune in right after on their sister network, Oxygen, and watch them at home. So yeah. that was kind of the original wow. idea. But we still got paid for it. We still got paid. <laughs> we still got so, paid for the other This guy's the smartest oh, friend so of yours in the man. world, man. Yeah, he's definitely the smartest guy. Smartest. No. I have a question for you, sir. When yeah. are you going to do a, a stand-up special for Michael Blocks? That's, up to, that's up to Michael. Michael, it, look, I've been... It, Michael Yo, knows We're talking about doing a lot of stuff, but... It's a, Michael is a very... Like Michael is, he's been out here for for a very long time, and uh, he's had a lot of success. Everybody in the business knows Michael. You know, he's very successful on the road, um, yeah. and so he just—I know—he's very careful, cautious, and calculated with doing a stand-up special for whatever distri- distribution company. So yeah. that's a Zeus. I mean, my stand-up is so important to me. The money got to be right, you know. And I got really like lately where they're giving these guys twenty million dollars, all these crazy yeah. amount of money. And you know, to the, the come deal has really, to be right. The deal, deal has to be right. right. The deal is right. I, I, I still my my jokes. Michael Blackson, mm-hmm. Mr. Zeus could afford you now. Look at these two bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> he got them from Bank of what America. What do you? Uh, Bank of America. Okay, he could afford you They're now, Michael Blackson. <laughs> Fifty million dollars. That is hilarious. Where? Uh, how do you know? Let's talk about how you came up with Zeus. Uh, hold on, Daryl. Where? You? Come on, man. Why didn't you come over here? <laughs> You just snuck in here. Come oh, on. Daryl, yeah, maybe you could, grab, you could talk on that mic. Or it's, he's been around no, from the I, beginning of Zeus. Zero, sir, right next to me. Yeah, that, that mic right there. Let, oh, can you slide over a little bit? No, no he need to uh, uh, give you a share the mic right with him. Because right if not, this guy's not talking. So he Oh, can, y'all, no, they're going to talk. I need y'all to ad lib from time to time. Yeah, yeah, I got the mic. Here we go. Oh, Daryl going to take the mic. There we go. So, is this good? Yeah, yeah, you Move good, man. Right. Right. So, uh, you, you asked me about Zeus? Yeah. yeah well, how did you get so, Zeus? So here's the thing. I, I, I was selling a lot of shows, right, for about five, six years or so to, to all these networks, right? And the problem for me was it was great money. You know, they would pay us millions of dollars to shoot one series. So, right, it was, it's like it's great. Like the money's great, you know, that we were getting. So usually a series in the reality space to, to produce for some of those networks range around, I don't know, three to maybe six million dollars per series that they would give to a production company. But that you would have to pay for everything, right? You you it's not just your money and they're just giving you a check of six whatever, mm-hmm. right? They're they're giving you the payments in increments. So every time you hit a certain milestone, you get a new payment. Um, and that's really the deal that we structured. And so uh, you know, we would all we would we would use that money to pay the cast. We would use that money to pay for our overhead. We would use that money to pay for our camera crew, equipment office space, um, post-production, the editing, uh, all the bodies, the showrunners, the producers, the story producers. So it was, it was great to be a black-owned, full-service yeah. production company because it was, that was the thing for me when I launched my production It was no black production wow. companies. And so a lot of the reality shows that were on major networks were facilitated by these you know, white-owned networks. Yeah. Um, and so for me, I just, I just thought it was weird. Like, we all these black shows are on all these white networks and these white production companies are facilitating it and i'm just like it did it just didn't make any sense so that's when i just said let me let me let me take a stab at it and we had a lot of success over those five six years and we sold like you said the living with funny then it was music moguls the preachers franchise music moguls featured damon dash uh birdman snoop dogg and uh jermaine dupree 
And then I, I sold a show with uh, Viola Davis called Two Sides. And so I just kind of got to a point where I was like, you know, this is great. We're making good money. But, you know, it's it wasn't just about the money. I didn't own the shows. So even though they were giving us they were giving us the, the, the budgets mm -hmm. to, to facilitate the productions, they didn't they we didn't own the shows and we couldn't make any any decisions regarding the, the creative or the business of the show. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, how do I become my own distribution platform and really facilitate and, and own the content and and give the other content partners and creators the ability to own their shows, to have creative input, to make more money and monetize. And then that's when I launched Zeus because I saw that there was a void in in this space and there was opportunity in what we call the subscription video on demand. Yeah. You know, uh, oh yeah, just like uh, Netflix. Yeah, Zeus is like a Netflix. Yeah, if anybody's and, listening out there. And that's and people people would watch content that way. That's we we learned yeah. that people were kind of tired of watching linear, what we call linear television, and appointment TV. It's like kind of it's kind of old school, right? People yeah. don't usually like to go home and flip the channels at nine, at nine o'clock and watch a program. So nowadays, people want to watch at their convenience, choice, and control on whatever device that they have, whether it's your phone whether it's an Apple TV, they want to be able to have that that control to do that. And so Netflix you know, succeeded tremendously yeah. with that model. And then a lot of other folks started to follow suit. And uh, I I said, let me get into that space. I just need to figure out the technology, which I, which I was able to do. And then it became about creating the content and making that investment. And so I invested in Zeus and uh, aggregated a lot of other content creators. And then we launched. Wow, that's amazing. That's what's up. So where are you? How are you? Where you guys at right now? Sorry, this feels like the most serious interview you guys. No, no, <laughs> Mike uh, Zeus. Mike is like was quiet. Mike's like one of the top uh, networks right now. Yeah, yeah. So I are, you, are you subscribed to Zeus Chinese Best Friend? I was, and then you know. Oh hell no! Nah. Child support took all my money, and I <laughs> had to change my credit card. I need to update my payment. That's so ridiculous. We did. We did increase our price though. You did, did go up from three ninety nine to, to four ninety nine. What kind of child support payments you get? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> but right. don't worry, Lemuel. At the end of the show, I'm gonna update my uh, payment. Uh, hold on, Michael. Are you Michael subscribed? Blackson's card. Are you subscribed? I'm definitely right, subscribed. Cool. This is. All right, I appreciate the support. No problem. What's so, up? He's he has a Dr. Blackson. Show I know, but Zeus. he still have to subscribe. He does. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, but but uh, no, it's great. It's great, man. I think we've come a long way. You know, we've learned a lot. We've we've experimented in this space. We figured out a niche, uh, yeah. and uh, you know, being black owned. Yeah, and absolutely. It, I mean, this was di distribution is the key, right? It's like if you can have the opportunity to go direct to consumer, and and really like, you know, succeed at that, you you win. And so for us, it, you know, a lot of folks can create content, but they got to figure out a home, and then they got to figure out a way to monetize. And so if you if you can figure that out, you know, you have a great tra chance of, you know, really creating a business that in this in this space, right, that can really succeed and, and do well. And so we figured that out. We figured out a great niche. We, we are creating a ton of original programming, long form that people are, are, are watching and enjoying. And so our, our shit is loud. It's very loud. Yeah. It's very I've provocative. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the, the Jocelyn show. Oh, yeah, that that's, one's that's, real good. It's, it's crazy. We have, you know, obviously Dr. Blackston. We pushed the envelope Ooh, like crazy. Dr. Blackston, when I was, are you going to release? Like, I was nervous about that one. I can't yeah? even lie. Oh, because it was no filter, huh? Yeah, Just no. Bam, raw. Bam, bam. It was no, yeah, raw. It was raw. It Dr. Was like, Black was up top of my head. The thing about, the thing with, I came up with Dr. Blackston, you know, I've been around for a while, and a lot of my fan base are young kids between 18 to 35 yeah and i've been through everything they've been through and i'm like you know i could give these guys some advice lady <laughs> guys and but my advice are just a little savage and they're real sometimes it's put beyond on savage it's, real, Mike. It's, real. it's beyond savage it's yeah. real it's just you know i'm just telling the truth so so let's let's try it real quick let's talk to one of the zeus girls does anybody need any <laughs> yeah, advice, advice from yeah, talk Listen, talk, yeah let's let's get some advice any he relationship How about big nigga you need advice oh Oh yeah! Hey, hey, give oh hey, advice. hey, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. I get a big guy. Like, I mean, I could probably help him. What's right your now. advice, sir? No, no, no. I'm here. What's your advice? I'm <laughs> Why not advice. him? Why not him? Tell him what your problem. Tell him what you, what you going through. I, yeah, what I are you going? <laughs> yeah. What am I going through? Like, is anything <laughs> you, you have? Are you having late? Are you trying to find a wife? Or you? Yeah. You? Are you? Uh, you know? Do you have no, any? No, I'm. Uh, any, I'm any, on he's a really nice. Get, hey, he's a really nice guy. My I'm focusing on trying to get property right now. I'm. I'm not married. I don't have any children. Okay. I don't have any debt. 
right, so okay, let me see. Let me let me go to your IG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lemuel, did you bring yeah. the Dr. Blackson lap, uh, iPad? Okay. Um, yeah, I got the. I um, got it on my phone. His, here, iPad. I'll pull up. I'll pull up his. Uh, I'm on iPad. your IG. Okay, let me uh, help him out. He has no wife, no kids. I'm on your IG right now. I see you follow a lot of food places. Uh, Grubhub, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Cracker Barrel. And last but not least, Penelope Bread. <laughs> Mike, I think he follows Mr. T yeah. also. Mr. T. This is true. This is true. This is true. This is true. Why is Mr. T? All right. What about, what about this guy All right, right here? Uh, you, you yeah. know, you, I mean, you weigh about three... 62. 389. Oh, that's pretty close. Lemuel, he's only good with bra size. I'm good with bra size. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good on Tilly Tuesday. Good. Right. Yeah. All right. So a lot of women probably feel scared. You know, yeah. if it's, I came home, if your, <laughs> I mean, grocery, it's, your grocery bill is ridiculous. You know? It probably is. It's a double-edged sword. It's either they feel scared or they feel so safe right. that there's no ambitions. That is true, and if you get hungry, you might eat them. So that might just, <laughs> it's tough finding a wife. You, you, if you have kids working around, you actually ain't gonna sit on them. Yeah, step this on is them. a problem. <laughs> you know, family, yeah. you're not family, family friendly. My Probably nigga. with a kind of kids by now. <laughs> from, from. Oh, you don't have any kids, Mister? Yeah. No. 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 Yeah, nah, he probably look. He he was never a kid. This nigga <laughs> swallowed your kids. This nigga was born 15 years old. Okay? He walked. He walked out the womb. Okay. He walked. He, op <laughs> he opened his mother's coochie and walked out. Walked okay? out. Okay? And Where's the car keys? Put the car keys. <laughs> snatched her titties. He said he was born. His mother has one titties right now. He snatched the other titty and took uh, it with him. All right. All right. You got to talk. No. About what's your? Hold advice? on. Hold on. You got to Oh. What? All right. I, I give me advices, man. Just you know, good luck. <laughs> What's up, Marasokas? This is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. Stop what you are doing right now and go find the Marasoka podcast with me, Michael Blackson, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Subscribe, it's free, so go do it right now. And don't forget to catch a new episode every Tuesday.